real life setting precedents for retail recreational marijuana in Wareham. After a three day delay, Verlife Life Recreational Retail Marijuana Store is finally open. By 9 a.m., the first shuttle bus had already dropped off the first 20 customers. So, this is the queue out here, and they already, as you can see, people going in, about 10 right now. Um, but I want to direct your attention to this stub right here. This is your ticket to get in. So how do you feel that you have to go to Waterways, take a shuttle bus, instead of just driving here? Oh, it was kind of horrible because my friend I'm with lives three doors down, so, you know, we had to kind of go out of our way instead of just walking on over, but it's for good causes, I guess. Under the cold rain, customers queued up, patiently waiting for their turn. Outside, they were handed umbrellas and hot beverages to keep them comfortable. What does this day mean to you? It means a lot because, you know, it also helps a lot of people. Judson, who lives in Wareham, says he had to wake up at 5.30 this morning in order to secure his spot at the front of the line. Well, because you are from Wareham, you know that our town officials, selectmen, do stress the importance of having recreational marijuana. Business in Wareham saying that it's going to bring us revenues that we need. Yeah. What do you think about that? Oh, that'd be fantastic. It's much needed. Uh, if there can be some revenue, revenue that's generated for, for the town and for the community, the schools and the streets and that, that sort of thing, I think that's, that's uh, nothing but good things. And you're here to do your part? I'm here to do my part, thank you, yeah. To avoid long lines and making sure the process goes smoothly, customers were handed a menu by the door. So the piece of paper is a rundown of the products that we are offering, and they can look at that, they can choose. We have an order taker, the order taker sends that through, and then when they get up to the point of sale, it's ready to go. How would you say things have been? So far, things are going very smoothly. We have a really jovial crowd. Um, our team is very excited to be serving everyone, so it's been a very good morning. Each customer had to arrive at the facility through using the shuttle bus. The plan was to prevent massing on Main Street and it is working. Uh, the shuttle buses are coming from waterways and dropping people right here at Vero Life Center. About 20 customers at a time. As you can see, traffic is still flowing as usual. Toby Hospital's emergency entrance is not blocked. And of course, there are not a lot of people hanging around Main Street as uh, some people ha had thought before. Back at Waterways, people queued up inside a tent waiting for a shuttle bus. We met up with a particular gentleman whose unique service provided a relief to those who cannot stand long lines. Want my spot? $10. $20. Let me get a little closer. <laughs> so tell me, how long have you been uh, standing here today? Uh, today, is, this is my first run. I've been here about 10 minutes. Um, I'm really just trying to see how the warm location is uh, functioning. Um, I'm actually based out of Northampton. So if you see me and you don't want to wait in a line, so tell me how many, how much money did you make? How many people came to you and said, "Yes, I want your spot." Uh, money is one thing. I'll say I've made 15 transactions. I've helped 15 people save at least a half hour to an hour of waiting time in local dispensaries. <laughs> you consider yourself doing a noble work, aren't you? I am doing a public service, yes, ma'am, <laughs> for compensation. <laughs> So $10, $20, does it go any higher? Yes, depending on how close I get or how long I've been waiting for, uh, the price does go up, yes. My God. Time is money, girlfriend. <laughs> I love this. So what, are you going to actually buy something today or you, this is all you're going to do? Oh yeah, if I don't, either I'll wait till the end of the line to help other people get in, just save some time, or I'll just go in and I'm, a, I'm an active consumer. I love the product, so I just, yeah. There was a little bit of delay. Instead of opening on Tuesday, we're opening on Friday. Will the hours remain the same? The hours will be seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, with Christmas will be closed. And um, at this point, I'm not sure if we're going to be open on Christmas Eve. It's uh, still kind of something that we are, are, are uh, assessing at this point after today. But um, we will be open then the following week all the way through New Year's Eve. Shuttle buses started at 8 a.m. this morning for the 10 a.m. Real Life Recreational Marijuana opening day. Uh, there are two shuttle buses and so far they have shuttled about 87 customers.
customers and about 80 are still waiting on the line. Verlife opened at 10 a.m. and right now is 11.20. So far, so good. Reporting from Wareham, I am Queen Banda of WCTV.